Welcome! Today we talk about the birth of the Sun is closely tied to the formation of the entire solar system. It is thought to have formed from a massive cloud of gas and dust, known as a molecular cloud, that began to collapse under its own gravity around 4.6 billion years ago. As the cloud collapsed, it began to spin and flatten into a disk, with most of the material collecting at the center to form the protosun. The leftover material in the disk began to clump together, forming small, rocky planetesimals that gradually grew in size through collisions and accretion. The protosun continued to grow as more and more material fell onto it from the surrounding disk. At its peak, the protosun was over 1,000 times more massive than the current sun. However, as it grew in size, it also grew hotter and denser, eventually reaching a temperature and density at its core that allowed nuclear fusion to occur. This marked the birth of the sun, as it began to fuse hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing huge amounts of energy in the process. This energy helped to counteract the force of gravity, preventing the sun from collapsing under its own weight. The intense heat and radiation from the sun also blew away much of the gas and dust in the surrounding disk, halting the growth of the protoplanets and allowing the smaller, rocky planets like Earth to form. The birth of the sun marked a turning point in the history of the solar system, creating the conditions necessary for the emergence of life on Earth and shaping the entire history of the planets and other objects in the solar system. Thanks for watching.